Hey guys, Sifu Les Clements here, Black Dragon Kung Fu. Thanks for watching. So this video, I'm gonna talk about two concepts, snap and sling, okay? And we're gonna use a specific stance through it all, okay? So snap, snapping energy is fire, right? Poppy, speed, leopard, right? Attacking the limbs, all right, slinging is blood heavy power. The blood is water that carries the bone. So it'd be like a stone on the end of a sling, right? Hence slinging, slinging the blood, blood slinging. So if I'm doing certain motions, the blood is being slung to the extremities. So the, it's even heavier, right? So that's what we're trying to develop is slinging power, which is water and earth versus snapping power which is air and fire. Okay, now the stance that we're gonna use is called Huai Sat, to squat and to break, okay? Just like so. All right, now, for fire, it's all snapping, like the eight, lep eight golden leopard paws, the eight golden paws I was demonstrating. I'll do number one because it's a good example of fire. You could practice this when I go down, circle, stop. Okay, down, two, three, down, two, three, down, two, three, down, two, three, okay? Puffing leopard, leopard puffing the fire. All right, so that's one exercise you can do with fire for snapping and popping. If that feels a little complicated, you could do this. Air to fire, pop, explosion, combustion. My teacher used to take a wet towel and he used to make me stand outside on a hot summer day with a drenched, thick towel and pop it until it was dry. Pop. Now that takes a long time, but it'll develop whip, okay, fire, but Fire and whip are not enough to prevail in a fight. You have to have heavy power. You can have all the whip in the world, but if your foundation is weak, your opponent is underneath you, which brings me into sling, okay? So fire, we're popping. Now blood, water, we're slinging. So maybe I'm slinging across this way. Flow, heavy water like tides, like waves, right? So you've got to get out of the way of these attacks because to stand in the way, they're made to break any resistance, okay? So yielding versus being very offensive. Okay, here we go, if I'm slinging. Here's another one. See, body comes down, sling. I evade one opponent, sling into one, come back. See, you'll see Tai Chi is very good with this, slinging. Now they're good with a lot because all Kung Fu styles use all the elements, but they each have one default, okay? So with snake, it's gonna be water, leopard is fire, so on. You see my other videos. So for snapping, okay? Okay, for slinging, Slide, sling the body weight, sling the body weight, sling the water weight, sling the blood, okay? So snapping and slinging, two very important concepts. So there's one technique for each of those. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. And if I don't wanna move forward, I can stay in place with a sling. Sling, 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 sling. You see this in dragon. Sling, 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 sling. Okay? So, if you found this video helpful, snapping, slinging, Shaolin stance called Gwai Sat, click the like button. Even better, subscribe. All right, Sifu Les Clements out.